there is. There's excitement. There's always excitement during session. Yeah. Thank you so much. Pretty, pretty dull, guys. <laughs>
My name is Bianca Alonso and I am the reading clerk. SB 2525. Eight. At the beginning of session, I did I did have to practice a lot. My ritual is definitely drinking a couple of like cups of tea. HB 4534 by Lucia. When I do start reading, I find myself just getting very in the zone and I just just go for it. Thompson of Brazoria, HB 3575. My reading does help staffers around the Capitol, you know, just to like continuously just be aware of what's going on. HB 2410, HB 2526. I think it has to be so fast because everyone wants to move forward with all the legislation and they want to be sure that they have time to get to those core issues that everyone's here to tackle to make Texas the greatest state. <laughs> What we do helps them to focus on their policy so they don't worry about the little nuts and bolts that are taking place behind the scenes. And so we try to make sure with 140 days that we can cram it all in here and, and do the best thing that we can do for people outside of this building. Busy, 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 phenomenally busy. <laughs> this is my first session. I'm a people person, so I like feeding, and I like talking, <laughs> and I love it because you meet a lot of interesting people. I feel bad for the ones who's coming in late, because I know you've been in meetings all day, you're hungry. I mean, they're gonna be here all night. Some of the people be here all night. And they do tell me thank you all the time. They, they like, we really appreciate, you know, you a big part of us coming in and we're able to get something to eat. I hear that a lot and I really appreciate that because sometimes you feel like you're not appreciative, but when you hear it, it makes it all the more better. They said as the weeks dwindle down, it will get more busy. You hear them, 27 days, you hear them. 26 days, they're calling out those numbers, they're ready. And then one guy said, hopefully we don't have a special session. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? You see the, the reps, you see the senators, but the really important people who are working and serving behind the scenes, nobody notices. They're the ones that really get the work done. Everyone I know that works here uh, is making a sacrifice to do it. They could be commanding more pay and benefits in the private sector. We're glad they're willing to do this. Whereas the Senate of the state of Texas is pleased to recognize... Patsy Spa has uh, been serving the state for a long time. One of the smartest people here, and you've seen when the Senate is taking a role on votes, how she's there keeping track. Taylor, Watson, West, Whitmer, and Zaffarini. And while she's recording the votes, one senator's in her left ear asking her a question about the next bill. Another senator in her right ear asking her about a bill. What was the vote on that? And she's answering that senator as well. She's a remarkable lady. It keeps it all straight. They would describe legislative staff as the backbone of the institution. And I, I've always said it's the full skeleton. And the members put the face and the flesh on the institution. I'm uh, the Chief Administrative Officer of the Senate and General Counsel. I manage the central staff. And we're really the behind the scenes workers, payroll, personnel, grossing and enrolling, all the support staff. When we gavel out each day, the staff continues to work for many, many hours. You work until the work is done. Members couldn't make it without their staff because there's just too much work to do. The people who work here have a love for this process. I love this building. I've been working here a very long time and I still love to come into the building every day. I feel privileged to work here. With the years in law enforcement that I've had, I tend to see and hear things that most people wouldn't. My name is Rick Delion. Uh, I am the Senate Sergeant at Arms. My job duties are to maintain order and decorum in the chamber. Me standing there, provides them enough to be able to do what they need to do without looking over their shoulder, I'm happy to do that. I mean, we do work at the Capitol. Unfortunately, this is a target-rich environment. If we had to evacuate, we had to make sure everybody can do it safely. We, we want everybody to come here. We want them to participate, but we need to do it in a, in a safe manner. Media has a need to come up here. and When I first started, some of the comments were that I was coming up with my own rules every day. And of course, I had the rules. You know, I could, they hadn't changed. I was sitting here reading them to make sure that I wasn't overstepping my bounds. And uh, eventually, we all kind of came together and realized that we all have a job to do in here. Every day, we're making history to some degree. I really, really appreciate the, just the privilege and the honor of being in this office, working in the chamber, mostly because I'm an avid outdoorsman. 
I've always appreciated the gracefulness that a duck glides on the water. But nobody sees the flurry of their feet below the surface, guiding them left, right, forward. Everybody under this office, I would characterize us as those ducks' feet. I'm happy that nobody sees us. I'm happy that the duck, 31 senators, the lieutenant governor, glide smoothly on the water, and our whole purpose is to not stop. It's gonna be our cold open. <laughs> <laughs> and that part, especially, yeah.